Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor with another Garrisons 101 video. In this series, I bring you various buildings from within your garrison, show you their utility and worth, and allow you to make the decision whether or not you want it in yours. Today, I'm going to be looking at the barracks, a building which you're forced to build at the very start of your garrison. It's a large building, but that doesn't mean you can't swap it out once constructed for the mission. At level 1, it will unlock patrol missions for your followers, and they have a higher than normal experience as reward. At level 2, it allows a follower with the bodyguard trait to accompany you around Draenor. And at level 3, it increases your follower limit by 5 and also grants you access to racial guards and banners as well. So if you want trolls around your garrison instead of orc guards, you can have that, etc, etc, etc. It costs 150 garrison resources, 150 gold, and an hour of your time to construct the level 1 version. And there we go. We have our first modest, shall we say, level 1 barracks. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so there's nothing too much about this whatsoever. When you've unlocked it, there's nothing aside. No quest. Remember, there's normally an opening quest for you. No. What happens with your garrison is it unlocks something else. On the follower missions at your command table, you'll notice they have different symbols next to the number. The number, of course, being the level of the quest. If it has a telescope, symbol that's a patrol mission and that's what's been unlocked by having your garrison so let's now just push it straight away to level two of course you need the level two blueprint you can either purchase it from the vendor or get it via leveling up around Dranor. because it's a big building it takes a lot of resources 900 garrison resources 300 gold and an hour of your time but look it looks substantially better than it did before now let me jump to my main character on the beta i've got my barracks in a slightly different position but you'll notice now that we can assign a bodyguard at level two now i've got three followers with the bodyguard trait one of them is inactive so i can't use that and then i've got two one is an epic one is a rare so i'm going to put defender ilona as my bodyguard I run to the barracks and she'll be waiting for me outside. Notice the bar at the top, it's very much like the Tillers, when you befriend somebody and she's rank one of three, so she can actually gain experience by travelling around Dranor with us. So if I click for her to follow me, in she comes. What's also pretty cool is I'm a cloth wearer, although I'm in my great Transmog Stormwind Guard outfit, and she is a tank. So if I bring her along as a bodyguard, she can take all the brunt of the attacks from the ads from me, allowing me to even go into Grimoire's Sacrifice and not even have to worry about having my tank pet out. The more ads you defeat, the more experience your bodyguard will get. Which means, of course, if you do decide to have the barracks at a very early level, i.e. you keep it when you're forced to construct it in your garrison straight away, you push it to level 2 as soon as you possibly can, and then you attach a bodyguard to it, your leveling up experience with your bodyguard is going to be quite an extensive one, allowing them a lot of time with which to level up. Now we've just killed four or five ads here and she's gained 55 experience out of 10,000. That 10,000 will push her from rank 1 to rank 2. And if you've had enough of the bodyguard, then just simply right click speak to them and you can send them back to the barracks. The point is though, why would you? If you've got the opportunity to have a strong soldier to help you out in the field, take full advantage of them. You never know when you might get into some trouble or come across a rare elite that might require a little bit more muscle. So let's push it from level 2 to level 3 and to do so as ever you need to complete an achievement. Its costing is quite high though, 1200 garrison resources and 500 gold of course with that obligatory one hour. The criteria for the achievement to get the level 3 blueprint is by completing 
50 of the garrison patrol missions. Those missions that I showed you at the beginning of the video for your followers. They of course have the telescope symbol next to them. So if you see them, send your followers out there. I didn't have my barracks for a particularly long time and I already managed to push it to 35 out of 50 which means your level 3 barracks isn't going to be that difficult to achieve it will just require a lot of resources to do so and of course you'll get those racial banners and those guards as well so I could have night elves or I could have dwarves or gnomes in my garrison instead of human stormwind guards but of course that's all a matter of taste so let me know what you think in the comments down below and i hope you enjoyed the vid if you did please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel follow me on social media and twitch.tv for live streaming those links are in the description down below and i shall be back with some more stuff very soon you take care everybody bye bye